this is where my life belongs. Okay. Um, so today we're going to create fillable forms in Microsoft Word. No, I did do a video on how to add the developer tab. No, without the the developer tab, you will not be able to do a fillable form in Microsoft Word. Let me apologize. It's almost night, so you're gonna hear some chirping. You probably hear some pigeons or some other noise. Apologize ahead of time. So I wanted not to just give some simple things. I wanted to have something practical. So here we have um, a form. I found this online. I don't really know what it is for, but it just looks like a feasible for you. So that's what we're using today. Alright, so we're going to recreate this. I wanted to have a split screen but it's going to be too small so we are going to go back and forth between screens all right so let's do control n and get a blank document all right so we have CYC 2012 2013 basketball registration form. Let's see how much of this I can remember. CYC 2016, whatever year I write, that's what we're going with. 2017 basketball. Registration form. All right, let's do some formatting very quick. So let's add the first thing here. So here we have child, child's name, gender, grade, and age. Let's type those. So child's name. Um, I did see gender. I saw age. What else did we see? This is probably confusing moving back and forth. Grade. Gender. Grade. Probably don't use everything. Alright, hold on here. So they had lines, but we want it to be fillable. So you're going to go to your developer tab. Right. So after you go to your developer tab, right here where we have controls, that's where we will be working. So here we just want blank slots. There are two ways you could do this. Um, you could um, you could have line a box for the person to enter like this one and then expand the box Expand the box just in case you have persons with some very long names. Here, where we have gender, um, male, female, yes, male, female, we can use so that one. So, before what we used was the text box for a child's name, but because we want a drop down list for gender, so we want the persons just to select. So, you could use two things you could use the disk. Or you could use the drop down but let us use the disk right so here I'm going to select this one because this is what I want right so you see this come up here then you're in design mode so you go to properties 
and then this um, pop-up window will appear where you see name and caption the name can remain change the caption so right here I am going to put mail so the user will just check box and then let us add the next one so click on the finish with that one click on the little briefcase click on the disk and then this one go to properties again and then change the caption now to female there so for the child's name we use the okay, I click on it. for the child's name we use the text box and for gender we used the option button now for grade we can use the drop down list um, we can make it um, customize we can customize it to suit our Jamaican schooling system so we go up to grade 13 right or if it is that you are creating a form and you have a specific grade then you can use that we all right all right so where we have grade here we're now going to use what we call a combo box select our combo box you see choose an item here so we're going to go to properties all right so here we can give it a title um select your grade right there here we're going to modify this because we don't want them to choose an item we want them to choose a grid and that's the first thing there is so let's modify that so we're going to change this now to choose a grid and then okay so here on in you just select add so that's let's say grid one grid one and okay add grid two okay Alright, so this part I need to look into because we changed this, which is choose an item here, choose a grade is there. I'm thinking that there's something as default. I'm just not seeing where to go right now to fix that. Because this is what I want at the top. And there's no other properties. So if I go to properties, that's the same thing. If I pick up design mode. Alright, so that's no that no is or combo box combo box right there so age we just want them to enter and that can come right up the top here in one line space it out and we just enter another text box right here for them to enter the age which is this one at the bottom which says a b with the stroke and then we extend You don't need to be big. Alright. So we have text box. We have our disk. And we have our combo box. Alright. What was next? Let's check back. This. So here now. I have address. City. Zip. Not going to add zip because we're customizing it. So we want the address. So you can have address line one, address line two, and then parish or something of the sorts. You know, in Jamaica here, people live at some very weird name place. So address one colon. 
Okay, so for address line one, we're going to enter our text box again. Um, text box, yeah. Okay, right here. And expand. Or let me remove the one and just give two lines so that there is space. For the persons to enter so if they leave a timbuktu wherever po then timbuktu would come at the top and then wherever po would come to the bottom all right so i did parish here so i'm just going to show you again how it is that we use the combo box for parish so select your combo box, then select properties, right? And after we're going to modify this to select and choose a parish. Enter our caps. All right. And then I'm going to add five or six. So I'm going to add St. Elizabeth. So here I want to show you how you would use the date picker because that's the only one that we are yet to use. So I'm going to add date of birth. So we want to validate our data. I want to ensure that the whoever is filling out this form into correct data because sometimes the age don't match the date of birth. Right. Because sometimes people be filling out forms. Like I have this form that the students will fill out at school and they were supposed to write their date of birth and somebody wrote the current date. I guess, you know, mine was on other things. So, to ensure that we don't get any errors, we use the date picker, which is right here. So, after you select the date picker, you go to properties so you can tell the format. So, here it is on month, day, year. And if you want to change it to day, month, year, whatever format you want, you just scroll through and select. This look nice. Then select OK. Let's bring this back up a little bit. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to know for your fillable form. Once I click off design mode for everything, then here can go in and you can type in anything here you can check you can come here and select the arrow right all right so here using grade two which is six i can select his date of birth so here you will get to select whichever you can select here there is something I don't know what so if it is today let's use today's day because I can scroll through to find out what it and then if you leave at Tim Book 2 District and it is from Bush PO and then you select a parish St. Elizabeth Heights of Bush you're a male or a female and then you put in your child's name which is John Dewey alright so that is how you create fillable forms in Microsoft so that's it 
hope this will assist you because the SB is different now so more than likely persons are being asked to create a fillable form or a table of content if you want to know how to create a table of content using Microsoft Word please comment with that below thank you